Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so anyway, we leave for San Francisco tomorrow, right? So I just came back. I did some last minute shopping. Like, why before you go somewhere, even though you feel like you're prepared, I always feel like I'm forgetting something and I always feel like I'm just rushed. It's only it's only like three o'clock in the afternoon. I literally took the day off today from work because i feel like i needed to get my house clean i needed to get dior set up i need to get some last minute stuff because girl the weather in san francisco is gonna be cold like i started checking the weather and if it hadn't been for sunny telling me about the weather i probably would have thought it was like this like here in las vegas it's like damn near 100 degrees it's so hot right but in san francisco i'm gonna show you guys it's supposed to be raining this it's literally like 60 degrees there it's literally raining and just it says cloudy and cold the whole time we're supposed to be there on saturday it's supposed to be like a little bit of sun peeking out sunday a little bit of sun but it's all cloudy overcast cold and none of the clothes at least that i packed i don't know about sunny but all the clothes that i've packed they're like weather for like this girl i packed my bathing suit well i put my bathing suit aside i haven't packed per se but i've been putting the, like my clothes together and i like put my bathing suit aside so i thought we were just gonna take a swim you know just girl girl so i had to go to forever 21 and get some last minute things i went and got sunny and i a sweatsuit um right now las vegas like the mall and the clothing stores here all they have is summer stuff because it's literally like summer almost all year round here so it was hard trying to find something that was like pants and warm at least for the plane at least for the first day when we get off the plane i didn't want to be freezing cold you know so i went to forever 21 girl picked up some things forever 21 is having an ultimate sale by the way if you spend 75 dollars or more you get 30 percent off or something girl it's really good like my total came to like 129 dollars and i only paid like 88 dollars so it's really good anyway i'm gonna go ahead and take this i just bought this girl from a black designer from um k lorraine not j lorraine girl because there's a j lorraine k lorraine i will actually leave her um website down in the description box below y'all k lorraine got some good designs she got some good designs her material is really good i've been eyeing her for a while i follow her on instagram and i've been following her for a while just looking at her stuff she has like cotton stuff like knit stuff waffle knit you guys know i like really like nice waffle knit cotton stuff and like she has some really good designs so i went ahead and bought something i was like okay let me just test it out because you know girl i love me some black owned brands but girl black owned brands be getting on my nerves i'll be buying stuff and they don't like ship but she shipped right away i got this within three days girl and her designs are so bomb so this is like a long sleeve sweatshirt and look it has like a drawstring right here that you can scrunch up look at that 
girl it is cute and she got the most cutest colors this is like a mint color it's very comfy soft cotton inside this is it right here this is her logo Hey, Lorraine. Girl, I highly recommend checking some of her stuff out. So now that I did the test and everything is okay, I'm definitely going to like purchase some of her long dresses. They're like cotton, waffle. They look so good. So I can't wait to get into her. But anyway, we might, you know what, girl, we might do a haul because I haven't done a black owned review in a long time because I haven't found something that I, that I was like interested in that I wanted to review that was black owned. But girl, we, we might do a black owned review of her clothes because her clothes are really good and i feel like she should have as much recommendation or as not recommendation as much recognition as like skims or something because her stuff is just really bomb and it's not like fast fashion she designs it i think because it doesn't seem like she has like tons of clothes like fashion nova it seems like she's like putting out collections respectfully you know what i'm saying so like i think we're gonna have to do that we're gonna have to do a kayla rain haul Anyway, let me show you guys what I got real quick before I pack. Because I need to pack, girl. Um, so, I got me and Sunny the same um, sweatsuit. Sunny was like, you always want to get some sweatsuits, girl? Yes, because sweatsuits are comfortable. Like, air airport fits matter. Yes, they do. But I also want to be comfortable. I don't, I do, I want, I don't want to be, like, super dressed up in heels going to the airport. I just want to be cute, casual, and comfortable because I feel like um airplane seats are just not it for me um, i'm not flying first class girl because we're just going to san francisco i don't fly first class unless i'm going to be on the plane for more than four hours because i feel like four hours i can get through we're going from las vegas to san francisco it's literally an hour and 45 minutes so i'm not going to spend a whole bunch of money on just going we're flying alaska airlines i think yes I think we are flying Alaska Airlines and I haven't flown Alaska Airlines before. I'm normally a JetBlue girl, but um, Alaska Airlines was it. The price was right. Um, so hopefully their seats are okay. Sunny looked it up and it looked like it was okay. Girl, because listen, I'm not doing spirit no more. <laughs> Y'all know when I went to Dallas, my best friend, she recommended spirit. I did spirit girl. We're, we're never doing spirit again, ever, ever. <laughs> anyway, so I got white sweatsuits for me and sunny i think this one is sunny's so i bought the pants and the matching um zip up hoodie yeah this is sunny's because it's a small and i like it because it's not a pullover it's zip up so you can literally like wear it as a crop top if you want to so that's sunny's this one is mine i got medium pants I got medium pants and a small top because I feel like for some reason uh, with the sweatsuits, especially in pretty little thing, when I dry them, they shrink. So I like my sweatsuits to be a little bit, uh, a little bit baggy, I guess. So I got us uh, some sweatsuits and then I got these shirts to go underneath. I was looking for like a tan or a taupe or a brown, but they didn't have any like kind of neutral tan taupe brown theme. So I just picked these regular um gray cotton ones i also found this girl look you know i had to get something i didn't need they had like loungewear in there and i found this cute shirt isn't that cute i got a medium because girl you know the boobs you know the boobs is big honey these barbie boobs so i got a medium because the small looked really small but at the same time um the medium looks big but the um strap is adjustable so i feel like we'll be okay so i found that and then look what else I found, girl. Look at this. Look at this cute romper. It's like a lounge romper. Look. Isn't that cute? I don't know if you guys can see the color of it because of the lighting. It's like a um white. It's like an off-white. Because you know, like, my whole house is, like, off-white. So, I like to have, like, off-white clothes and stuff. <laughs> girl, you know me. So, it's like an off-white, cute little, like, romper um, lounge wear to lounge in. And then... I got, um, I found this because I can never have too many of these white little cotton t-shirts or I can never have too many. And then I also found this cute little just plain taupe. Well, not taupe. It's more like a, what is this color? It's not taupe. It's like a brown neutral color. Cute little tank dress. Always need some of those where we can go and run errands out of. 
Girl, I bought me some earrings. Cause I didn't lost my earrings, girl. I didn't set them down somewhere in this house and I can't even find it. So I got some earrings and then I bought these for girl for the pool. I'm thinking we going to the pool, girl. We want the pool. Look. Aren't these cute? They're like these, um, they're called mold sandals or something. Where they like mold to your feet. They're like this really like comfortable material. So I bought Sunny and I some, and I had to get a size seven because they didn't have a size six. I wear a six, but I wear, I, my foot size is a six, but I like to buy a six and a half, especially with heels. So I like to have just a little bit of room. So I had to buy a seven. They fit pretty good. They're not too big. So what else, what else did I get? Oh, girl, and then I went past, you know, my favorite store ever in the mall. And I got me this cute little vacation dress. Girl, look at this dress. Look at this pattern. Isn't it cute? I'm going to a um, topless pool party. I don't know when, girl, but it's like a strip club here in Las Vegas. And basically, I guess you can sunbathe topless, but I think the strippers that are serving you drinks and stuff, they're topless. Girl, that's going to be lit. Like, no homo. I'm not, like, into girls or whatever, but still, I think that's just super lit. So I'm supposed to be going there one of these days. I feel like I need to buy a new bathing suit just because, you know, so I can take pictures and stuff. But this is going to be my little dress. Isn't it cute? Look at the pattern. It's so cute. And then the way it's like, it's kind of like cow neck where it's like cow and it looks so good. Like it's just fitting in all the right places. And I just love the pattern. It just reminds you of like vacation, summer. I'm going to put me a cute little straw hat on i also have like a little vietnam chinese like vietnam rice field hat it's gonna be cute we're gonna be outside this summer the bathroom and stuff like that but i want my dog to be able to walk with me and not be walking and okay so i'm gonna put my Let's get down, let's get down to business Give you one more night, one more night to get this We've had a million, million nights just like this So let's get down, let's get down to business Mama, please don't worry about me Cause I'm about to let my heart speak My friends keep telling me to leave this so let's get down, let's get down to business Let's get down, let's get down to business Give you one more night, one more night to get this We've had a million, million nights just like this So let's get down, let's get down to business Hey y'all, so we made it safely here in San Francisco It is so cold, look at this weather <laughs> Compared to las vegas weather it is so cold we're waiting on our uber right now um our we came here early it is literally like eight o'clock in the morning so we got here really early so our um room is not ready but they said we can go ahead and like drop our bags off we'll probably get some breakfast and then just wait it out um we're trying to see alcatraz not today but preferably tomorrow because um i need to check the weather because as you can see it's terrible it's like low-key sprinkling um, we have to go on a boat in order to see Alcatraz and grow. We ain't trying to sink. <laughs> okay, we ain't trying to go on no boat and then sink. Um, anyways, y'all, I'm home. Um, not like home home because, you know, San Diego, California is home. But I'm in Cali, so I just feel like I'm on home turf right now. And it just feels really like, I don't know, overwhelming. Because I feel like I haven't stepped foot in my home state in years since I was married to somebody in the military. It's been years, so. Um, the scenery was so different, like, um, coming from Las Vegas. I should have, I should have put that in the montage. I don't think I got the Las Vegas bit, though. I just got um, San Francisco's. 
you guys should have saw how crazy it was. So when you're flying on top of Vegas, it's like nothing but rock and dirt, mountain, you know, like nothing there, desert, right? Then when you get to California, it's just like trees and grass and like, oh my gosh, it's like, I miss, <laughs> I miss trees and grass. Living in Vegas, it's like, I like it, but it's terrible because it's just all dirt, dust, nothing, so. Oh, here's our Uber. Game. At this age, how are the man still hating? My young boy in a different country, but he ain't never been on vacation. One hand on a girl I'm dating, one hand on the cash I'm making. We come through like Funky Friday and have all your man them skating. I came in 550 on trainers. I learn girl amazing, could be Bayesian, Trini or Haitian. the hotel and I love this hotel already like it's so UK sunny and so happy you like it it is like I can't wait to do a hotel tour with you guys I have to wait until like we get checked in and stuff because I just don't want to be walking around yet but I'm getting a few clips to show you guys like if y'all are ever in um, San Francisco and you like theme boutique hotels I would definitely recommend this hotel like I still gotta check out the room we still gotta make sure the room is good, but so far, bro, it is like aesthetically UK and it is so, so cute. So anyway, we're waiting on, um, he said we can possibly get checked in at 12, even though the check-in time is not till four. Um, it's 9.45, so what we're doing right now is I'm looking up somewhere to eat, like breakfast. So that way we can have breakfast first and then because we're literally in Union Square, like in the heart of Union Square, so there's all kind of stuff here. So we'll probably just eat breakfast, walk around real quick. They took our luggage, so we don't have to like um, roll around with our luggage, which is good. And so we're kind of like free, um, so we can kind of like roam around, get something to eat. So I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna eat right now. You, if I DM you, what she DM me? Young black brother, I'm a stylish G man. I put the IC in IC free. They tell me I'm gifted and rep. Nothing was nice, used to live in a trap. Now if I go ask that chick for a snap, I could bet money she's giving me that. I'm always in Harrods, I'm filling the back. Them niggas ain't winners, them niggas are mad. Yeah, like my vid and them bitches are bad. They get picked in the foreigns and ditched in the cap. Game. Okay, y'all. So. We ended up getting our room at 12.30, so I'm very grateful. The room is very small. It's giving Paris, it's giving London, it's giving Europe. All the, like, spaces are really, really small because this is, like, UK-inspired. So it's very small, very cramped. We have two twin beds. It's okay, though. It's okay. It's a cute little boutique hotel, okay? We knew what we were getting into, sort of. <laughs> I didn't know the rooms were going to be this small, but San Francisco is pretty compact, so. It's okay, it's a nice clean room and it'll get us through the weekend. So we booked our Alcatraz trip for tomorrow. And right now, I don't know if I'm gonna get changed or like what well, I don't know if I should get changed or if I should just wear what I have on right now. But I wanted to check out Monastery Made. Um Monastery is a uh, luxury skincare brand that I've been having my eye on they actually have a flagship store here that I want to visit and I do want to get a few things from there um, so we might go down there before four o'clock because that's when it closes and then I guess just kind of chill out and get ready for dinner because tomorrow the Alcatraz uh, tour is like three hours it's super long and we have to get there an hour early so our tour is at 12 we have to get there at 11 to prepare and we have to like clear security like national security or something so i'm probably gonna you gonna you gonna wear what you got on 
I think I'm gonna wear what I got on. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna wear what I got. I'm not gonna waste another outfit. So we're waiting for them to bring our luggage right now because um, the elevator is broken, girl. So we had to walk up four flights of stairs, and um, there's there are some like people bringing our luggage. So we're waiting for our luggage. When our luggage gets here, I'm gonna call Uber and we're gonna head over to Monastery. Girl, oh my gosh, we are here. We made it. I don't know if I showed you guys the footage of these hills. These hills are crazy how the cars just go up and down like 90 degree angle hills. Anyway, we made it to Monastery Brawl, so we're gonna go in here and purchase some things. exploring the street right now we're going down the hill we have no idea where we're going we're just going <laughs> Thank you. 
we are walking up and down the hills because there's so much like shopping and stuff. Sunny just went to this crystal place because you know she loves crystals, Miss Thing. And so we just walking, getting some exercise down. We're in this district called Castro where it's LGBTQIA friendly. Um, it has like the flags everywhere, the um, the rainbow flags. And you know what it reminds me of, girl? It reminds me of a town in San Diego. Girl, I'm out of breath. <laughs> girl, I know my fat ass. I'm out of breath. <laughs> but what, what was I saying? Oh, the flag. So it reminds me of a town in San Diego, my hometown called Hillcrest, where I actually lived. Where are we trying to go? Where are we trying to go? Oh. Yeah, so it reminds me of Hillcrest where everything is like um, with the LGBTQIA flags and all that. It's just so nostalgic. I just, even though this is not my hometown, it's California. And like I said, I feel like I'm home. I'm just taking it all in. I'm just loving the trees. I'm loving the sunshine. Loving the shopping. You want to go this way? Okay. So that's what we're doing, girl. We just walking down here. Trying to find something to get into. And then we'll go back to our hotel. Good morning. So I am dressed, waiting on Sunny to get her little makeup on and everything. And we are going to do a day tour of Alcatraz today. So I got my little hat on. Can believe it's on hand. Just got a regular white shirt that I've already dirty, by the way. I sprayed some Dior Joy and it made like a little yellow spots. I'm like, girl, okay. And then I just have that and some mom jeans. I don't have a full length mirror in here, so that's something that's bothering me as well. Like, I like this hotel for the UK feeling because, you know, it was supposed to be themed for Sunny's birthday. But as far as just staying here just to stay here, well, no. No. Like, when I review this hotel, it's probably going to get three stars for me just because it's so small. It's missing a lot of things. But the theme is nice. So, look out for that. So, anyway. Uh, we're gonna try to get breakfast first. We have to check in. We have to check in um, the place. It's called Pier 33 an hour before in order to pass security. And they also said um, to like, I guess, check in. So it's about 9.30 right now. We're gonna try to get breakfast first. I have no idea what we're gonna get. Because normally I research everything in advance but i didn't really get to but we're literally in union square downtown so there's like pretty much everything down here so we'll probably just walk and get something real real quick i don't want nothing heavy We're here in the line for the Alcatraz tour, and the line is so long, work. but we're on time because it says you had to be here 30 minutes prior to board. We're boarding at 12, so I guess they're going to be able to get everybody on because our thing is at 12, and we are on time, <laughs> but the line is just super long. They already checked our tickets and everything, so we'll see. Yeah, but that looks pretty good. 
We've taken off, so we're on the boat. Remaining at that time. On the 50th anniversary of this in 2019, they decided that the occupiers or any remaining ones still living come out and help restore the markings since a lot had faded over time. So as we're exploring the island, you'll notice that there's similar red paint in other areas. This is also from that time period as well and is also historic writing. So that is the story behind these markings. Let's go grab a map and guide. Let's get going. Okay. Well. We're going to go grab a map and guide. Let me tell y'all. It's Alcatraz, thanks. So we are going to begin our tour. I guess going what westbound? <laughs> you don't know what westbound means. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's westbound? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Westbound. Like I know what the fuck I'm doing, right? <laughs> you know, we're going southbound. You know what I mean? So it says theater exhibit and the bookstore. So we'll head over there. Ooh, child. And it's super cold, you guys. And it's stinky out here. It smells like a can of sardines or something. But I guess because it is out in the elements, like a huge prison that's just rotting in the middle of the ocean. Died in here. People what? Died in here. Why? Because they were locked in prison, so they died. I doubt they just cleaned up, you know. What do you mean? That they were locked in prison. Like the people that used to be in prison. Yeah. Yeah, they died. But then the remaining people were took out of here. They didn't just leave them. <laughs> to I die. they cleaned up like all the historic stuff. But they didn't just leave the people there. When they when they decided to close this place down, they took everybody out that was remaining. I know they cleaned up everything. That's been like 100 years, I think they did. I don't think they left bodies in there. Maybe. You know they had Indian prisoners here? Why? I thought this was like for Al Capone and stuff. Why would they enslave people here? Girl, look at this. Look at some of the structures. Like, it looks very eerie, actually. It's like covered in moss and stuff. That's the penitentiary, a luxury shop. Can you imagine like being here? Do you get to be out no, of your cell? No, you have to Cause like, this would be a nice walk to walk down here and look at the and They had to stay sea. in their cell for like 23 hours. Oh wow. They were gonna leave to leave out of the jail itself. Wow. This is just like, we're like the people that work here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this probably was beautiful back in the day. What? The gel was all the way up top there. The gel? Yeah, the actual gel itself. It's all the way up there. Are you there. trying to see the gym? Yeah. It's up there. Oh. See that? You see that building all the way up there to the top? Oh, okay. Now we're at the morgue. Like they had it coming. 
Okay, now we're at what she wanted to see, which is the prison. Whew. Oh my god. So eerie and scary. So we are done with the tour, got our souvenirs, and we're going to actually wait for the boat. That's what we're doing right now. We're like waiting for the boat to come back. And I think I want me, well first of all I'm going to get me a, oh look at that bird in there. You saw them swimming? Girl, they got birds in here and they're like swimming around. Anyway, um, when we get back to the pier I'm going to get me a sweatshirt because I want a white San Francisco sweatshirt. and. They have these really good like street hot dogs on the street like the mexican hot dogs that they have in la girl if y'all ever been to la the garment district they have like um people standing with little stands with hot dogs they have that out here too so i'm definitely gonna get one so i guess that'll be lunch because i thought we were gonna go to a restaurant but it's for dinner yeah so maybe we go to a restaurant for dinner so i was thinking of finding something for lunch but I want one of the Mexican hot dogs with the onions and stuff on it, okay? Like, that's where it's at. I was thinking about that the whole time we was in that prison.
Y'all, yeah. they talking about right now we're at Fisherman's Wharf. They talking about Fisherman's Wharf is the seafood place. And there is like so many seafood places. I don't know if you guys can see it. But there's like so many things going on. Three of these people will be on our way. And then we switch to up top of the bus in the oh, front. And if you're scared of heights, <laughs> girl, you can do like I do. Close oh your eyes and hold on tight. Oh god, because I'm scared of heights, girl. Oh my god. So we're about to see the, the actual Golden Gate Bridge right now. I'm gonna turn you guys around. Hopefully my camera doesn't die. Oh my god. Let me turn you guys around so you guys can see. Y'all, we didn't got off that bus because it is so cold. We are headed back to the hotel. We are using good old fashioned maps to walk around. Sunny is the map. Sunny is the human map. One thing about Sunny, she gonna find us where we at. So we're walking. Oh, I think yes. Yes, because there's the pine crest. Yes, girl, we almost there. Cause I'm ready to go in. I, I got dibs on the. I got dibs on the bath first. <laughs> Yes, it's so cold out here. I'm gonna take me a nice hot bath and might go down to the bar. Cause they got a bar, but I never see anybody manning it, you know? So I'm gonna go to this bar to um, get me a drink at this hotel. Good morning, girl. So today is day, what day is it today? Saturday? So we was here Thursday. Friday, Saturday. So this is day three. <laughs> I haven't been saying what day we're on, girl, because I feel like we just been going and going. So day three, it's about 10 in the morning. We just got up. Just reflyering my hair, girl. And look, Sunny brought up a good point. There's something about San Francisco's weather or air that makes your hair frizzy quicker. So I've been having to fly iron my hair a lot. I think it's because it's like cloudy and overcast and um, there's like that mist 
so it's kind of like misting so maybe that's it i don't know so it took me a while it took sunny a while reflying her hair too so we finally up girl we getting going here so we're about to go to a crepe place which is like four minutes away um, we're just going to walk because I feel like, what's the point of taking an Uber? We might as well explore Union Square anyway. It's supposed to be the heart of San Francisco. So I'm wearing, I don't know if you guys can see, but oh, no, no. the lighting. I'm wearing just a cute um, beige or khaki like tank dress with i got my nipple covers on girl so we'll see how this goes and then my little um jacket because it is still kind of cold outside and i'm just taking my steve madden backpack and then some sunnies that match if the sun ever comes out girl because right now it's low-key a mess they're sunny <laughs> so let me grab my phone and let's get going girl we up here walking and look i had to put the hood on because it's misty and sunny, sunny's like girl i'm done i'm ready to go home because it's so misty here it's just like girl, messing up the hair i can't even deal Fisherman's Wharf. No, that's one Fisherman's Wharf. That's one of San Francisco's like uh, seafood areas. They say where the best seafood is and whatnot. So, oh my god, these people are taking a picture in the middle of the street. Girl, stop. Anyway, yeah. So that's where we're headed to Fisherman's Wharf, and then Wharf. <laughs> I keep saying Wharf. Wharf. And then from there, I want to try to see Ghirardelli, Ghirardelli Square. Why can't I talk? Ghirardelli Square. And then after that, we're trying to see how to get on the cable car. Because that's what Sunny really wants to do. She wants to get on the cable car. Oh, here's one right here. I think it starts at Fisherman's Wharf. So... We'll find out when we get there. Okay, y'all, we are at Fisherman's Wharf. As you can see, there is a lot going on. Chocolate store, of course, Sunny wants to go in here. Fisherman's Wharf. Fisherman's Wharf. 
W H A R F. I don't know why I keep saying wharf. Fisherman's Wharf Cable Car Station. We're about to catch us a cable car. Wish they would have taken them out of the can first. <laughs> Okay, y'all made it back to the room we stopped at starbucks we ended up finding a starbucks on the street we made it back to the room girl um we're gonna wait to go back out because it's really cold and misty i'm kind of disappointed kind of disappointed it's sunny as too we talked about it we're disappointed in san francisco weather <laughs> but as far as san francisco girl i'm loving it like man this would be the place to live girl like i'm loving san francisco it has plenty of things to do here it's just beautiful but the weather's just terrible so um it's getting more misty and more cold so we're just gonna wait till dinner dinner tonight um we're going to maestro's which is around the corner from king george hotel if you're ever here um basically in union square girl if you stay in union square you cannot go wrong everything is literally here you can walk catch a cable car whatever like everything's literally there so we're just gonna wait until um our reservation my camera's dying so i'm about to charge up my battery so i'm gonna see y'all later on tonight i found a full-length mirror so i want to show you guys what i'm wearing is this cute girl excuse me i'm out of breath because i had to climb the stairs the elevator is broken I'm four flights up. Stop. So I wanted to show you guys my dress. It's a red long sleeve with like a slit right here. Little leg showing a little leg. Cute girl. And I'm wearing Voltega. Voltega. That's what we're doing tonight.
took some pictures. It is, let me see, 7.13, so I still have reservations at 8.15, so Sunny's still getting ready for you. She's always late, so we're waiting on her for all, so I guess I'll go back to the room a little bit, and then um, I'm going to pick you guys back up when it's time for us to go to Maestro, so I'll see y'all there. Uh, 